Resistance arc and final docking sequence initiated. from your ship's computers, or what was left of them. Fascinating reading. You Sith are apparently quite formidable. You, most of all. To alter the course of galactic events as you have, quite impressive. You don't need to be impressed with what I've done. You need to be afraid of what I'm going to do. Yes. We'll soon know what you're truly capable of. Prince Arkan? Heskel. Still waiting for the catastrophe that you and your scions foretold. You may close your ears to the whispers of fate, my prince. But they cannot be silenced. I wonder if silencing you might suffice. Take your superstitions elsewhere, Heskel. You are not needed here. Your followers don't seem to be as sure of your invincibility as you are. Unimportant <laughs> relics with unfounded beliefs. Don't be swayed by their nonsense. Is this why you brought us? To hear you bicker with soothsayers? Come along. You're taking us to your master. I'm taking you to my father, Valkoria. My father. The immortal Emperor of Zakul. An Emperor? Just what we were searching for. You will not find what you wanted here. <laughs> Prison of Zakul Empire. His glorious majesty, immortal master and protector of Zakul, Emperor Valkorian. Welcome. A new name. A new face. These are not enough to hide from us. The Sith Emperor. Your presence is unmistakable. Oh, I think a mistake has been made. But by whom? Do these people have any idea who you really are? The kinds of things you're capable of? Do you? Your constant silence across our history. This was your distraction? This was my focus. Everything else, a means to an end. You claim to have come all this way to find me. Here I am. What do you want? To destroy you. Once and for all. <laughs> you say you know me. If that is true, then you know the depths of my power. Whatever you hoped to achieve here, you know deep inside that you cannot succeed. But you do not have to stand against me. Instead, you can kneel. 
I will never again kneel to you. You would sooner die than acknowledge my superiority. It is you who fears death, Valkorion. I do not. I will not kneel. Oh, we got a badass over here. And a hottie with a body. Chip ching Clear the room! Everyone out! You've already killed more people than I can count. Is one more supposed to stop me? No. You are different. In all my centuries, you alone have merited my full attention. You leave your mark upon the galaxy wherever you act. Just as I do. Look oh, you. you. Zakul is poised to become the greatest civilization in the history of the galaxy. I have forged this empire to surmount all of my previous works, to span eternity. The Eternal Throne commands a fleet more vast than any ever built. It has the power to reshape the galaxy into any image that I choose. That we choose. I will share all of this with you. If you will only kneel. Hmm. Your power is unquestionable. I've seen it firsthand. Our power together. Nothing could stand in our way. I'm ready. Outlander has assassinated our Emperor. Take her away. Wow, this cutscene is so People long. Of the cool. The unthinkable has happened. Our beloved Emperor, Valkorion, is dead. Murdered by an outlander who sought to shake the foundations of our great society. The assassin will receive swift and just punishment. And this act of unprovoked aggression will be answered. As your new emperor, 
I can promise you this. Zakul's enemies will face the full power of the Eternal Throne. They will answer for their war-mongering ways. And every last one of the Core Worlds will burn. No. However, I am going to stop now, maybe, if I can stop, I'll stop shortly, at least. I have always loved the stars. Okay, let's play this through. You can stargaze later. We had an agreement. Patience. We can still achieve what I promise. To call you Sith is to ignore your true self. You have earned my respect. I followed you here so we might speak undisturbed. You've grown quite humble. Do you finally accept my superiority? I accept the need for change, and so must you. Your acolytes runs on the ladder of your ascent. This part, I hate it. The ageless fiend, an embittered pirate. Jedi, your worshipful academic, and a bloodthirsty zealot. They outlived their purpose long ago, yet you permit them to live. What will that accomplish? I can stop talking to you. Each day they drift further out of reach, without a center to hold, without us, the galaxy, and all within it spiral into chaos. What's happening to me? The carbon freezing was imperfect. Your body is poisoned, dying. Old foes have come to take your life. I beat them before, I'll do it again. If you want to live, you must fight. Mount here. What?
нести ее. I struggle a bit with them. Until the Empire is under my complete control. Old ambitions will not sate your appetite. This Empire is not worth saving. And the Republic is not worth destroying. There is a greater purpose awaiting us. You want to take back your eternal throne? They want someone to blame for their defeat. They choose you. Let them come. It's their funeral. Theirs or yours. Only you can decide that. Choose quickly. Empire. Republic. Both fall before the eternal throne. You cannot stop what is to come. Save I can try. yourself. Technically, I could just run past this. Yeah, it's only loot. There's something new. Citizens or fallen citizens, so they're technically not dead. Yeah, that's Sith, but only acolytes, fair enough. I miss my companion. Please give me a 10 so I don't have to run back because that would be annoying. Probably. Oh, there we go. Hello. I'm in combat. Alright, here we go. Boom. 
too little too late. No, it's not too little too late. Exactly the right timing. Boom. Now I have to defeat Dathmar, sure. Sure, sure. This dream is a big joke to you, isn't it? I see only to open your eyes. That must have hurt. Finding Valkorion. Zios, the world where everything changed. For me, you, the, the galaxy. galaxy. You killed every living being here. They died. Opening my eyes to the truth. I have passed beyond death reach. Hmm. I could use a little immortality before I die of carbon poisoning. <laughs> Teach me. Perhaps one day I will. Our flesh is not what we are. Voices, hands, children. I no longer require those crude vessels. At long last, I am truly free. You choose to visit me. Why? Our story is not finished. I have done all I can to preserve your life. Why would you do that? You are a part of me I wish to keep. I am your father. I cannot save you unless you want to live. You can destroy it. Help me! Not yet, but soon.
You are the only one who has ever matched my will to survive. Uh, stop comparing yourself to me. You cannot deny we share a common foe. It can't be. I've only been gone. Longer than you think. The coolness surpassed my expectations. The most powerful fleet in history, and an army of guardians who use the forces more than night or dark. But my children... My children abuse their power. Your wife isn't around to keep them in line? I made a mistake. I let her go, abandoning my past, let me experience pleasures I didn't need myself before. I couldn't love on the cool. Who knows? Even you may find it. The only thing you love is power. I care about more than you know. We must deal with my errant son and daughter before they ruin everything. You want me to end your bloodline? Consider it done. Do not underestimate their threat. It will take both of us to undo the damage they can inflict. Your daughter sees me. Valen was always my favorite. What is it? Interesting. That's right. Focus on me. I want out of that carbonite. Well, that could have worked out better. We are being reborn. 